If you had money, you can't buy. Come on. What he did on Calvary. Yeah. Amen. You cannot buy your way to heaven. Amen. You can't buy this gift that was given to us. Amen. Come on. I'm thankful for that today. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful for If I had to buy my way in front of the light, I probably couldn't go. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I, could, I couldn't come up with enough money to make it. Amen. Come on. But because it's free. Yeah. Amen. And that's what got most of the world not receiving it. Yeah. Because it's free. Come on. Sounds too easy. Amen. <coughs> it is easy. Yeah. Really, it's easy. All we got to do is accept Him as our Lord and Savior. Come on. Ask Him to come into our life and forgive us of our sins. Yeah. Amen. Then everything's all made all right and we can be bound for glory one of these days. Amen. Come on. When we leave this world. Amen. We better be getting ready, church. He's getting ready to split the eastern sky. Amen. Come on. And like Brother Billy said, even if he don't come back with the trumpet sounded, amen, he may call you out here tonight. We're not amen. promised our next breath. Amen. There's people dying every day, Brother Billy, young people, old people, middle-aged people. Amen. They ain't got nothing to do with it. Some of them are sick, and some of them ain't got nothing wrong with them. Yeah. But they're leaving this world. Amen. The main thing is be ready. Come on. Be ready to meet Jesus. If you got your Bible, turn with me to Matthew 24, chapter. And the third verse. Matthew 24 and 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, what shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of the coming of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. <clears throat> See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. And nations shall rise against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be phantoms and virtues, and, and earthquake and devour places. All these things are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they to deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall, they, shall many be offended and shall betray one, one another and shall hate one another, and many false prophets shall rise up and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abide, the love of many shall wax cold. But the end, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. All of these things yeah. has already happened. Yeah. There's not a one of them in there recent that they already have. <coughs> Amen. I'm telling you, church, Jesus is getting ready to come back. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's jump over to the 35th verse. It said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour no man knoweth, not the angels in heaven, but my Father only. But as in the days of Noah, where we shall also, also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as it is in the day when before the flood they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and, he, and, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also be the coming of the Son of Man. Amen. Eating, drinking, giving, and marriage. Yeah. It's all that stuff sound for me. Come on. That's what they're doing. That's what people are doing now. They're all wrapped up in the world. They, they're even eating and drinking, giving marriage to man to man, married men, and women married oh. women. Honey, they got this world all so mixed up. Honey, uh, uh, Jesus has got, got to be getting ready come on. to come back. Amen. And I got to think about Brother Billy, all these people that Noah preached to for 120 years, and he was telling them and fixing them around. Yeah. Just like we're telling them Jesus we can come back. He was telling them it's fixing to rain. Amen. Come on. And I, I got to thinking about all the people making fun of him and mocking him and, and going on about him and stuff, and he kept preaching it. He kept preaching. He kept doing what God had told him to do. So God laid out a plan for Noah. So, so he found, 
He laid out a plan. He told Noah how to build that ark. Come on. He told him to pitch it inward. He told him to pitch it out. He told every step of that thing to yeah. be built. Amen. Yeah. See, that's what, church, that's what he's told us. He's given us every step that Come it on. takes to make it. Amen. Yeah. But if we don't go by the steps that he took, we're not going to make it, honey. Amen. If, if we don't go by the path that he's laid before, if we don't go by this, Oh. If we don't go about the plans that he's laid out, Brother Billy. Yeah. I mean, that's reading, that's reading the, the, so many uh, different uh, versions of the Bible coming out to trying to mess up the plans. I mean, oh. But the plan, if, you, if you're sticking with this old King James Version Bible, I mean, the plan is laid out for us. It oh. shows us how to build this thing and that we can make it. I got to think about all the people that was making fun of me, Sister Richie. Yeah. And then, then all of a sudden, one day, yeah. they seen a cloud. Yeah, come on. They seen a rain cloud pour, amen. Right? And all of a sudden they feel a few drops of rain. Amen. Right? Then they know that Noah was telling them something. Yeah. But honey, it was too late because God had told Noah and his family to come on inside the heart. Yeah. And the door was shut. Honey, one of these days it's going to be too late. Amen. Right? Oh, honey, we better. Hallelujah. I mean, it's time. We're going to get on the boat. It's time to get on the boat, amen. Oh, right? Because yeah. you're going to miss the boat if we don't get on, amen. Amen. Jesus is getting ready to come back, and he's coming back where people have made themselves ready. See, no, I didn't make himself ready, brother. God didn't make him ready. God gave him the plan. He told him how to build the ark. told him uh, uh, each, every step of it. Yeah. He told him every step. Yeah. But he didn't make him build nothing. Yeah. He didn't force it on him. Too many people are one that, uh, honey, God will not force feed us. Yeah. We can come in this church and we can sit on a pew and, and sit here every service, every service, oh. every service, and die and go to hell. God is not going to force feed us. Amen. When he's delivering his word to Brother Billy on Sunday morning or whoever's up behind the pulpit, he is not going to force you to receive it. Amen. He's not going to force feed you. But it's there for you. Yeah. Amen. Just like it was laid out for Noah. So he gave him the plan. Come on. He told him how to build an ark. And, and, and each and every step of the way, that's the way Noah had to do it. Yeah. But all of a sudden, all these people see it was too late. Amen. It was too late. The making fun of Noah and all that stuff was over with. Amen. It wasn't oh. no more making fun. They, they done figured out that Noah was right. Amen. One of these days, some of these, these people that's making fun of oh, you got that church up and down there by that post office, you ain't oh. got but a few people coming. Yeah. One of these days, they're going to find out, hey, that boy had something down there. Something was right. Oh. But it's too late. It was too late. The door's already shut. Honey, we better be getting ready. If we don't, we're going to lose the boat. Amen. Just like all the men. I don't know how many people was on the earth then. Yeah. But however many it was, but when eight of them got off. Yeah. Well, eight, but eight, Brother oh. Billy, survived, amen. Yeah. There were eight of them all that made it, amen. Out of that whole bunch of people, what but eight, that was willing I'm on. to stand. See when, and then just like it said, just like the days of Lord. See when he let me turn over to Genesis. Genesis 6 chapter 8 verse says, But Noah found grace in the eyes of God. Yeah. There was still grace being found. Amen. See, he told them that he was fixing to destroy all mankind. Yeah. All make every creature, every bird in the air, every worm that crawled, every, every everything that crawled upon his belly, everything was going to be destroyed. I'm all. But he found grace. Noah found grace yeah. in the eyes of God. There's going to be some, Brother Billy, that's going to find grace. Yeah. But the ones that's going to be finding grace is the ones going to be living for it. They're going to be trusting. It. They're going to be following His path. They're going to be doing what God has told Him to do. Amen. They're going to be living it the best way they can know how to live it. And I know ain't none of us perfect. Amen. And we all miss the mark, but we got to be striving. Amen. We got to be trying to live this thing as best as we can live it. Amen. Because, honey, I'm telling you tonight, heaven is real, but so is hell. Come on. Yeah. We all want to talk about the streets of gold, well, and we want to preach it in our churches, and, and all the churches want you to preach it in. Yeah. But you walk in a few of them and you start talking about hell. Come on. They don't want to hear it. Amen. They don't want to hear it, but it's real. Come on. Somebody's got to tell them. Amen. It's a place that's real. Amen. That rich man that died, Brother Billy, when, when, when he was when he wanted to send somebody back to talk to his brothers, he, he didn't tell them to go back and talk to them about heaven. No. About this he said, send somebody back. For they won't come and just offer torment place that I'm in. They want somebody to go back, Brother Billy, then to stand up and to preach on hell and let them know that that place is real. And, honey, and it's a place that we got to shun. Huh? If we don't, we ain't going to make it. I know it's a terrible place. I don't want to go there. Come on. And there's no excuse for us to go there. Yeah. If we go to hell, 
or if we go to heaven, whichever one, it'll be our choice. Amen. It'll be your choice. Amen. Individual choice. Yeah. Well, I can't. I can't say. Well, I want to go for Brother Billy. Wouldn't let me. Yeah. It's my Come choice. On. It's my choice. It's Brother Billy's choice. We all got to make that our, our choice ourselves. Amen. Amen. But the price has already been paid. Either. The boat ticket's already been bought. Come on. And ain't no sickness missing the boat. Amen. Come on, yeah. It's already been paid for. All we got to do is climb aboard. Amen. Honey, you don't have to do the work and noise here. Amen. You may not have all the people that walk in. You think people are making fun of you. Look, can you imagine what they've done to that man? Yeah. It hasn't never even rained before. They've never even heard of the rain. Come on. At least the people have heard of Jesus that we're trying to preach about. Yeah. But these people never even heard of the rain. It never rained before. Then all of a sudden, yeah. started falling out of the sky. Oh. And then they knew that they missed a boat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of these days, Brother Billy, Come on. a trumpet's going to sound. And if we ain't ready to meet him, we're going to know we missed the boat. We're going to know that we messed up and we're coming down the line. And I believe with all my heart, I can't, I can't give you Bible for this, but I believe with all my heart, Brother Billy, if we mess up and we don't make it, and if we live up in the devil's hell, I believe I'm going to hear every message that was preached to me. I believe I'll hear every altar call. I believe I'll feel every time that God has touched on my heart trying to get me to come to the altar and get right. Amen. But I changed my mind and, and I chose to go the other way. I believe I, 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 I'm tired of of hell just the reason that would, would torment you forever just knowing that you missed it and you had a chance that you could have made it. That alone would be hell. Not counting all of the burning forever and the word of word died not and the grinding the teeth and all that. Not counting none of that, just knowing that you missed it. Just knowing that you rejected what Jesus done on Calvary. Honey, that's what we do. If we don't make it, we'll reject what he's done. Because he's already paid the tickets. This is like if Brother Billy gave me a ticket tonight for something. <coughs> and I just took it toward it. Rejected it. Didn't want it. Rejected I heard a brother, I can't even think his name, one guy used to be on radio with us, a bird, brother, brother James. Brother James. Talked out there in the street meeting one night out there by the IJ, and it, it, it stuck with me, Brother Billy. He was talking about how, <coughs> how God give a gift. He gave his best that he had, and people don't want it. Just turn it away. Yeah. He said, how would you feel if you went out and you bought, you spent everything that you had, yeah. all the money that you come up with, just to reach and you bought Brother Billy something real nice for Christmas. And he just took it and told her aside. Said, I don't want it. That's what we do, God. We reject him. We reject what he's done on Calvary. Amen. There used to be an old song. I wonder if he still feels the nails. Are we still driving them? Come on. Are we still putting the pain in him every day Hallelujah. by rejecting him? We got the church. I'm telling him he died for us. We got to learn to live for him. We got. We want this thing is wrapping up, and if we ain't ready, we ain't gonna make it. Come on. So well, I come to church all the time. Honey, there's millions of people to go to church. Yeah. And there's millions of people to sitting in church and lost and fallen high we. Amen. They have never accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, Brother Bill. Come on. They've got in because some preacher told them, if they shake my hand, you'll be saved. I went to, a, I held a revival in Morgantown and I heard a preacher say this. He took a coat and he threw it in the floor. And he said, if you jump over his coat, the Lord will save you. Yeah. Honey, you can jump over it from now till Jesus come back and he will, I'll save you. Yeah. Unless you feel that tug from Jesus, amen. And unless you accepted what He done on Calvary, on. you you can't make it, amen. You can't make it because the preacher says you're all right. It won't get you there, honey. If you ain't got a change, see when He touches you, there'll be a change coming in your life. Come on. If you if you if you think you're saved, you're saved, and you ain't never felt a change since you got up and off, you didn't get it. Come on. There'll be a change that takes place in your life. Yeah. So that's my question tonight. And I know everybody, everybody in here is family. But I don't know nobody in here. It's hard. Come on. Just that fine. 
Are you ready, ready? If that trumpet sounded tonight, would you go? Come on. Would you make it to heaven? Or would you miss it and spend eternity in hell? This ain't real, folks. Amen. This is not no game. It's real. And the people out there on the internet, make sure, make sure that you're ready. Honey, you can know, amen. I, you can know down in your heart if you, you're ready or not. You know tonight, amen. The people out there listen to us on the internet or wherever it goes to, amen. You know if you're ready or not. Come you on. know. Amen. I don't know, but you know. Yeah. You know if there's something standing between you and God. If it is, you better do something about it. Come on. Because I see the rain cloud, brother Billy. The rain's starting to drop. The boat's getting ready to leave. He's about ready to shut the door, Sister Reese. When, when, when that trumpet sounds and he comes back and that door's closed, honey, ain't nobody else going. It's over, amen. You'll spend eternity in hell. Are you ready tonight? Are you ready to meet the Lord? That's the biggest decision you'll ever make in your life. Amen. A lot of people think it's a big decision getting married, and it is. Buying a house, having children. But the biggest decision you ever make in your life is the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Because that's the only thing that's going to last. Amen. It's forever, Sister Ruthie. It's forever. Oh. I've heard people say it's hell. We have hell here on earth. You ain't seen no hell. No. I mean, if you was tormented every day of your life on this earth, and you made it to heaven, you still wouldn't see no hell. Yeah. Amen. Because hell is a whole lot worse than you can be tormented on this earth. Come on. I got thinking about that beggar outside that rich man's gate. Brother Billy, he lived his whole life miserable. Yeah. Sores on his body, the dogs were licking the sores on his body, begging for crumbs to fell off the rich man's table. But he had what it takes yeah. to make it when he left this world. The Bible said he was carried by angels. It's Abraham was. Amen. It says the rich man also died and was buried. Yeah. But it also says the beggar's name was Lazarus. Come on. You don't say nothing about what that rich man's name was. Does Jesus know your name? Come on. Does he know your name? Is your name written down in the land book of life? Or has it been blotted out? That's a question that we need to ask ourselves tonight, amen. I turn on Facebook or wherever, wherever it's here tonight. That's the most important thing to ask yourself tonight. Are you ready to meet the Lord? Come on. I ain't said, I told you a while ago, no man knows the hour, not the angels in heaven. But I know that he's coming. Come on. And I know that I'm fixing to die one of these days. Yeah. It's for it once for man to die. And after that judgment, Brother Billy, we better be ready. We better be ready to Amen. meet the Lord. That's the most, don't miss the boat. Get on the boat. Amen. Come on. Get on the boat. I just praise the Lord tonight for everything He does for me. Amen. I just want to be a witness for Him. Amen. I know the Bible says that then we'll be living in perilous time. We're there, brother. Yeah. We're there. Yeah. People need to wake up and get ready because Jesus is getting ready to come back. Amen. He's coming back at the church that's made herself ready. But ready or not, He's coming. Amen. Give the Lord a hand for His word. Amen.